guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Ronald and today I'm talking about leftovers. I know. So we went to this uh let's say maybe diner. It is uh in uh, Manjula Island and we ordered some meals. It was me and my in-laws and you know all together and they give you a lot of fries. I'm talking about between two of us who were able to save this much because we couldn't eat it. But I'm like, should we throw this away, leave it at the restaurant, what? But you know what, let's take it. So I want to do something with it and I want to show you what I've done with them right now. I mean, look at that. Alright, so step number one, it's very simple. Just put them back onto a, a baking pan of some sort and put them into the oven. And then, thereafter, we'll be adding on some goodies. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. That is a lot of fries and I gotta say honestly they weren't really as flavorful as I want them to so given all that I wasn't even really appetizing for me to eat but into the oven and we'll move from there. Don't add anything at this point right now just make sure they get a nice crispy onto them and then you can actually add another things before you put them in back into the oven. Alright, so look at the difference right there between that picture and this right here. Definitely some crispy. So, so now that they're ready, nice and crispy. Honestly, think of them like you're dealing with um, nachos or something of that sort. So right now what I'm going to do is put some cheese on here. That and this is great by the way for like game night, you know, or like some kind of sort of evening you have guests. I don't drink, but I know if you're having like a wine or some sort like that, definitely, definitely go well with all this here. I'm also going to actually put the tomatoes on here. You can have them pop in fresh, but you know what? Have them just slightly cooked. That's okay as well. Also peppers here. This is sweet bell pepper. Guess I have the yellow one. Now back into the oven. So as I'm waiting for our nachos or fries, whatever you want to call them, I'm going to make a quick dip. I'm going to use the best as mayo here. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, relish in there and even if you leave this on its own honestly it should be just amazing but I'm gonna add in a dash of ketchup just gonna add in just a little bit of squat, squat of that and combine it and just like that you have a very very simple dip okay I think we're good here Alright, so our biscuit done here, honestly, you don't even have to add anything else on here, but if you do have, like, say, maybe onions, sure, why not? Add in a little bit like that. So it's a good garnish, basically, just like that. And, of course, our dip, make it look good. Just stick it right in the middle, right there. Ooh. Who would have thought that you can literally flip a coin and just make this? out of that think about it right it's amazing mind-boggling I gotta say it's worth it um, so the next time you're out somewhere in one of those um, small areas where you go to and they give you a lot of fries 
don't waste them if you're like a family of two or three or four whatever you can put together a bunch of fries and the following day have fun with it honestly you can make it like a whatever a nacho some kind of an appetizer or a main course of some sort if i try it here by the way typically i do a word of the day so you know what i'm gonna give you a word of the day i'm going to do onions because i put a green onions on here so in my language onions we say butungulu butungulu that will be onions let's try it oh look at that cheese right there oh yeah mm. it's like i'm eating nachos so good so good mm. well as usual like share subscribe so you never miss a bite i hope to see you in my next video guys <laughs> bye now